Hello everybody, Venomous Hale back here. Um, today I'm do doing a video on what is it? just some tips to make money in Elder Scrolls Online. Um, I'm going to give you several different ways to make money. Now none of this is going to be really fast. You're not going to make like millions of gold over you know a couple hours. It's not going to happen. Um, but over time You'll Welcome be able to, to build up your money in times of very, you know, easily with this. Um, you see here I have 290,000 gold in the bank. Um, Welcome to the bank. I have 14, almost 15,000 in my inventory. Welcome to the bank of and this is my guild that I'm the, that I'm the um, guild master of. And I put, you know, 400,000 of that, of that right there in there. So, um, I've done pretty decent for myself, um, as far as gold making goes. Now, the first tip that I'm going to give you is pick Welcome a craft. To the bank of Wayrest. Um, you know, light armor, heavy armor, medium armor, woodworking, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um... And then find you a a guild that has a guild store in it, okay? Um, and then just look through their things, see which traits have the, you know, are not common at all, and just make some of those um, items for those traits. Now I recommend doing this with like either um, like a belt or gauntlets or sabatons because it takes less material and you don't have to use high level material you can use iron ingots jute you know maple whatever um, just level one of these items and you can sell them probably for around 500 a piece alright that's tip number one don't back to the the selling things don't don't put them for 2,000 gold because nobody's going to buy them. They're all going to buy, you know, the cheaper ones. Because all they want to do with it is research the trait. Alright, secondly, um, you can, you know, steal things. Ever since update 6, they've added stealing to the game. Um, you can do pretty good just by looting containers I recommend finding you know just your favorite place that seems the safest to you to just I go through and, and loot um, so my favorite place is Wayrest Castle alright um, it's pretty easy look at that right there that's a hundred gold and then you can also you'll also get other stuff that you'll find that you can take and launder or you'll find recipes once you use the recipes they're not marked as stolen anymore Hundred and fifty gold right there. Another hundred. And as long as you're out of the line of sight of these people, they won't know that you're stealing, so it doesn't matter. You know, if you're worried you're gonna get caught, um, just make sure you're out of their line of sight. Not gonna take the time to wait for him to move. I'm itching for some action. Another good place is the inn. 
in in white rest. Also, while you're looting these containers, you'll find recipes. Um, you'll find motives. You can sell those if you don't want them. Um, the purple recipes sell for pretty good. The purple motives sell for even better. Um, especially the Daedric one. Everybody wants everybody wants the Daedric one. And then if you're lucky enough to find an Imperial one, you know, that'll sell for really good too. And I, when I say really good, I'm, the Imperial one probably sells for about 100000 if I had to get. Oh, look at that. Purple recipe. Now this, uh, the recipes, if you find them and you want to sell them, you will have to launder them. Alright. So that you can sell them to other people on the guild store. Alright. You look alright, I suppose. Now for the stolen items, you just want to take those to the Outlaws Refuge. Um, if you don't know where those are, I have another video explaining it. Um, just check that out. Another way that you can that you can make gold is by now this is a little slower. Um, you can do the crafting writs, is an opportunity to practice like the blacksmithing writs, clothing writs, woodworking writs. Do those, and there's a chance that in the containers that you get from completing those, that you'll get a legendary temper or resin or or tannin. All right, you can sell those pretty good on the guild stores. Also, if you go out and you get, um, now you don't want to just spend your time doing this because um, the amount of time that you take to do it compared to how much gold that you'll bring in, um, it takes a while. So you can go out and harvest raw jute, raw iron, Greetings. you know, any kind of metal or wood or clothing material, refine it because you'll have a chance of getting a legendary when you can sell those, like I said. Um, and that's really about it as far as making gold goes. Honestly, you don't spend gold on a whole lot of stuff in this game. You buy, you know, you buy your horse. And, you know, which... Oh, shit. Which you can buy with crowns anyway. Um, but if you're not an ESO Plus member, then then you can save up your gold to buy a horse. Um, that's probably about the most expensive thing in this game. Hello. And then if you need to buy crafting materials on the guild stores... But you don't have to buy any of that stuff. Um, you'll want a horse because you want to be able to get around faster. And then you can spend gold on stuff in in Cyrodiil on the for the Alliance War. But I mean, that's really about about it as far as how to make gold. It's pretty simple. Um, you know, it just takes a little time. Um, but over time, just while you're questing, make sure you get your cra your um, nodes. Even if you don't do that craft, still get those nodes. You can sell the raw, the raw ore for, you know, twice as much as you can sell the refined the refined ingots for. Because they have the the chance of dropping those legendary tempers. But um, that's about it for this video. Um, hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know any other videos that you all want to see.